So the Woke Brigade have uh, started again. They've sent uh, memos out to all councils in the UK saying there's certain words they don't want to use or can't use. And uh, ridiculously, two of those words they can't use, or we're not wanting you to use anymore, is mum and dad. Now, my mum and dad have passed, um, but uh, I must admit, I took great pride in calling my mother and father, mum and dad. Um, always would have, always would do, and if they were here now, still would do. Don't ever be told what to say, what or what to do, or what you can say and what you can't say. He, she, they, them, that, that, it. It's men and women, sorry. You're either a man or a woman. Every chromosome in your body, my body, is male. Doesn't matter if I get a pair of fake, fake tits. Doesn't matter if I chop, chop off my tiddly. I'm still a man. Every fibre in my body is male. Same for you ladies. You know, now more pe people want to cross-dress. They want to dress up like women or want to dress up like men. Do what the fuck you want to do. But don't press it on me. Don't press it on my family. Don't press it on my kids. You know, do what you want to do. But stop trying to press things on people. Especially in the UK and US. It's going crazy. The woke brigade. We cannot let them win. In the States now and in the UK, there's a thing called the Who Dares Wins. It's about the SAS and the guy who did it or does it called Ant Middleton. He's been fired from his job because he won't adapt to the woke brigade. He's lost his position, he won't pander to the he she's. And uh, Australia have snapped him up and put him into Australia. Who dares wins the same show. Uh, so it's their gain and uh, the UK's loss. But the guy stood up for his values and the guy stood up for tradition. So fair play Ant. There's a quick picture of him below if you don't know him. Well, there you go. So is it me? Am I a bigot? Am I a racist? Am I this? Am I that? I don't think I am. I just think that I know it is weird when I see it. Um, take a look at these pictures and make your own opinion. It's, uh, some people are being interviewed about woke culture and about he, she, she, him, them, dot com. Uh, and then get back to me. Okay, so first we've got this uh, lady, obviously a university student. Um, dressed up to the max. And then we've got this fellow or woman or whatever it is, I'm not sure, he's going bald with purple hair. Um, there you go. And then we move on to Catface, or what I call Catface, which again is just a mess. And they're hiding their probably beautiful face with all that crap. Uh, again, another face destroyed. Facial tattoos, facial limp, God knows what. It looks like they had their eyes tattooed. Then you've got Mr. Limerick, 1972. He thinks it's St. Patrick's Day every day, so he's going for the full green on Irish effect. Finishing off with this weirdo who you wouldn't leave with your children, would you, by the looks of things? He looks like a proper nonce. Well, there you go. That's it done. Now, I'm not saying that's a true representation of everyone involved in gender dysphoria or gender, gender transfer or anything, but it's, it's, it's very strange that they always send you do interviews. They always seem to interview people who look a little bit odd, a little bit rebellious, a little bit anarchist, a little bit anti this, anti that. Not normal people who get up at 5 a.m. and go to work with three children, come home, have their dinner, play with the kids, go to bed, do the same again every day. These people seem to enjoy putting metal objects into their bodies and dyeing their hair pink and purple and blue.